Hallo, Didier Stevens, uh, handler at the Internet Storm Center. At the Internet Storm Center, uh, we just received a malicious uh, document, a spreadsheet, uh, using Excel 4 macros uh, uh, with the kind of malicious document that is going around now, the, the Z-Loader uh, Maldoc. So I'm going to show you how you can quickly analyze this with the XLMD Obfuscator tool. So first of all, with OLED dump, you look at the file and you see there are no VBA macros and that's because when you have Excel 4 macros, they are inside a workbook. So to figure those out, to find these, you have to run my plugin BIFF with plugin option X, uh, X for uh, Excel for macros uh, XLM like this okay and we get this output here and so this is clearly uh, a malicious document here with all those uh, concatenations of hash uh, functions and then uh, formulas here there's a lot of them and to deobfuscate them there's a, a new tool xlm deobfuscator file case here run it like this and there you have the output so it was able to deobfuscate all those uh, formulas with the uh, car concatenations and and come up with these commands huh? um, like here you see calls to shell execute huh? so what we're interested in of course is iocs like uh, urls And here we have a couple of uh, URLs. So it's as simple as this uh, with this uh, XLM deobfuscator. And I want just to show you something else with my uh, OLEDump plugin tool. So let's go back. Now here you can also have CSV or JSON output. So if you run this here with the uh, XLM option, for example, for macros, you, you see all the different cell formulas. And here, this is the, the parsed formula, which is in, in postfix uh, notation. But of course, you're more used, well, we, we are more used to infix notation. And that's what you can get now with the uh, CSV uh, output, for example, like this. See here, now you see those. Uh, values set value run and here formula with car and uh, all kinds of commands if you want only the csv output and nothing else you use option quiet q like this and then you get this output and i've also been working on an ad hoc uh, script to uh, try to deobfuscate this here like this and then you get partial output so it's not as good as uh, xlm uh, deobfuscator uh, because xlm deobfuscator is a real emulator here i'm trying to uh, decode with some uh, brute force techniques 